guys, welcome back. Today on Cooking with Jen, I'm going to show you how you can make a 2 minute easy breakfast recipe, egg in the hole. This is an old recipe but it's still our all time favorite one which is really quick and delicious. So grab your apron and let's get over to the kitchen so we can get started. So first up, you'll need some bread, you'll also need a cookie cutter or a lid that is good enough to fit into the center of the bread without breaking its sides. You'll also need some salsa, I'm using the store bought kind. You'll need some eggs, I cracked mine open into a bowl for easy handling. You'll need some butter for the cooking part and some cheese if you prefer. It's not in the video but you'll need some salt and pepper to taste. Then just cut out your bread and set it aside. Then you're going to heat a pan on medium low heat and you're going to add in some butter. Once the butter has melted, we will first toast up our cut out bread on both sides and then take it out once you're done. Then add in some butter again and once the butter has melted, you can add in the bread which has the hole. You're going to toast one side of the bread first and then the moment you flip it to the other side, you're going to add in your egg right into the center really carefully without breaking the yolk like this. Then season with some salt and black pepper powder. Then you can add in your cheese. But if you're a sausage or a bacon fan, you know what you can do? You can cook the bacon and the sausage ahead of time, then chop it up really well and you can add it in right now. Then Pour your salsa all over the top and finally just take a tight fitting lid and cook it covered till the egg whites are fully cooked like a bullseye. Then just turn off the heat and enjoy. You can turn this dish in any way you like to. This is just how I made it today as it's really easy. Oh and you can also use a heart shaped cookie cutter cause Valentine's Day is just right around the corner. So this would be that perfect breakfast idea in bed for your sweetheart. So I hope you give this recipe a shot cause now it's your turn. So try it out and let me know how it went for you and I will see you next time on Cooking with Jen. Bye bye.